Hi, I'm Adrian Kennard from Andrews and Arnold, and um, I'm pleased to say we've now got five different packs of playing cards on Amazon. Quite why an ISP is selling playing cards is something you'll have to read on my blog, but uh, we're quite pleased with them. So I'll just do a quick run through. First two packs are the uh, branded packs. So we have, first off, the Andrews and Arnold branded pack. Now, all of these cards are a little bit special in some way, so I'll just give you a quick run through. Right, first off, the cards all have, well, most of them have a blank card like this, so it's blank one side, normal back. They also have a double backed card, which apparently is good for magic tricks, and they have some jokers. So we've got uh, these Ignis jokers here with the nice fabric dragons. Now, the Andrews and Arnold deck uh, is special because it has an extra card. As it says on the box, it goes up to 11. So you have the Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Jack, Queen, King. So there's an extra card in each suit. Now, obviously, you can take these out and play the cards as normal, or you can play games with the extra card. It's quite a novel twist and uh, makes for some interesting games. Moving on to the Firebrick deck. Um, once again, we have a blank card, a double-backed card, and two jokers. And... Uh, Again, like the Andrews and Arnold cards, this has something special. It actually has a zero. So zero, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. So you actually have an extra card in each deck, once again. So again, you could take these out if you want, or you could play with the extra cards in. Some games actually need four jokers, for example, so you could use the zeros as extra jokers. We then go on to this deck which is the Reproduction 19th Century deck. This is based on a 150-year-old deck of cards. And actually, all of the packs come like this. Obviously, the others have been opened before. You find the little tear, and you can open them nice and easily. And uh, this is a, a scan of the original back, and this is a scan of the Ace of Spades. The rest of the cards have been carefully redrawn. Now, you'll notice the key thing here is they don't have an index in the corner. Uh, so they're quite big cards like this. Now, this is a full 52-card deck. In practice, the original deck was only 32 cards. It didn't have the cards from 2 to 6. But uh, this is a full 52-card deck. And uh, because it's got no index in the corner, it's obviously good for games where the cards are on the table most of the time, like blackjack or possibly poker. If you've got a fan of cards, you can have trouble. So uh, it makes for a challenging game. We then have the left-handed deck. Now, you'll have noticed on the Andrews and Arnold deck, it had the numbers in both corners, so you could play left-handed or right-handed. Well, this deck is not really about being left-handed, it's about not being right-handed. So we have the blank, we have the double back, and this is a nice maze design. We also have the two jokers, as before. But, unlike a normal deck, you're not going to get far holding them right-handed. You're going to have to do it left-handed because the pips are in the right-hand corner. Even the court cards have the suit symbol in the right-hand corner. So it's a normal deck of 52 cards, but it's aimed at left-handed players. So that should be fun. And then finally, we have my white deck, which, as you can see, doesn't say much. There's actually just the barcode, and you can just about catch there's who printed it in the slip in the uh, flap there. Now again, we have a blank card and we have a double back card, but the backs of these cards are white, so you can't actually tell those two apart. Um, the cards, well, they only have the index in one corner, so they are the absolute minimum you need to play cards. There's no other markings on the card and the backs are white. So it's a normal deck of cards. Now, I have included two jokers with these. Um, I thought long and hard, how do you make a joker in a minimalist pack? And I actually ended up going for a red card and a black card, and those are the two jokers. So that's my minimalist white deck. So we have a nice set of five decks of cards to play with. They're all available on Amazon, and unfortunately my 
new cards aren't available yet, but we'll wait for those to be licensed. So these are all available now. They make great stocking fillers or games to play at Christmas. So uh, please do buy them and have fun.